Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from channel listener Kevin Song, Orlando, Florida. Remove every idol and strange fire. The Lord gave me a sobering word of caution as we continue into 2023. He spoke to me during one of our prayer sets recently, and he said to tell my people, remove every idol. An idol represents any object, thing, people, relationship, anything you worship as a god and exalt above the lordship of Jesus Christ. The Lord brought me to 1 Corinthians 10. It talks about disobedience and the idolatry of the Israelites in the wilderness. Now these things became our examples, to the intent that we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted. 1 Corinthians 10.6 God is calling his people to search their hearts genuinely. Be open. Be real with the Holy Spirit. Ask yourself, what areas in my life have not fully surrendered to the Lord or his perfect will? The Lord is so patient. He's so merciful with us. The scripture says, No temptation has overtaken you except which is common to man, and God is faithful. He will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make a way of escape that you will be able to bear it. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. 1 Corinthians 10 13 through 14. Then the Lord brought me to Leviticus 9 when God instructed Moses to establish the priestly ministry. It said in verse 9, And fire came out from before the Lord and consumed the burnt offering and the fat on the altar. When all the people saw it, they shouted and fell on their faces. However, in contrast to this glorious manifestation of God, Nadab and Abihu, they offered up the profane fire in Leviticus 10. This was not commanded by the Lord for them to do. They were judged. They were killed by the fire of God instantly. The word profane here in the Hebrew means strange. In other words, they did something unauthorized by God. Then the Lord spoke through Moses saying, By those who come near me, I must be regarded as holy. And before all the people, I must be glorified. I believe that as we go into 2023, God will intensify the shaking in what he's doing in the earth, and with it, there will be a clear delineation of good and evil. There will be a separation of those who are unwilling to repent, and they will continue to play with the unauthorized or the strange fire. In this season, we must be vigilant and sober to do only what God has instructed us and according to his purpose. Don't go before or behind the Lord. Rest. Wait upon the Lord and draw the plumb line against every idolatry. Those things could be dreams, promises, ministry, finance, family, or even marriage. They are not necessarily a good or a bad thing or evil, but they can become idolatry in your life if you're not careful. Thank God. Thank God that we are no longer under the law, but under the new covenant of grace. God is calling his people to a deeper place of holiness and consecration. We must be holy as he is holy by grace through faith, 1 Peter 1.16. As we stay in this place and abide with the Lord, just like what he promised Aaron and his sons in Leviticus 10.15, there is a portion, an inheritance that is reserved for us forever by the Lord. It's so important that we, we must worship him in spirit and in truth in this hour, not seeking him for what he can do for us, but to have his ways and his leadership permeate into every area of our life. Like Abraham and Sarah, we must be, we must trust that he is who he promised and that he is always faithful. Hebrews 11, 11. Let's pray. Father, we humble ourselves. Lord, we repent of the idolatry that we've committed in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that the blood of Jesus has cleansed us and removed every corruption from our sins, our transgressions, our iniquities. It's gone from our lives. Lord, I declare and decree that we will be strengthened with the power of your might and greater grace to abide in your ways, Father. Let the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit saturate and cleanse me, cleanse my friend from every stain, every trauma of the past. Lord, we sever every cord of wickedness. Every every idol that we've placed above you, Father, we uproot everything from you, Lord, 
everything that is not from you, Lord, everything you did not plant. Lord, take out every hard-heartedness. Let a fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit come upon us now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.